Hey there, I'm your host Lesawi, and in today's video I'll show you how to attach an item or a weapon to your character's hand, and it's going to look like this. So, let's begin. Before we begin, you're going to need an animation. I'm using the standing melee attack that you can find on Mixamo. Once you're back in Mixamo, find your animation. I named my M attack 1. Simply drag it in, and here select your skeletal mesh, or skeleton, for me it's Brady underscore skeleton, and import. Once your animation has imported, right click, go to create and create an montage. Then save both. Then let's create a new folder. I'm going to name mine weapons. Find your sword and when you import, it's really important that you select skeletal mesh to be true. And once you did, you say import all. Next, let's go to our player and find your skeleton. So I'm using Brady. So for me, it's going to be Brady underscore skeleton and go inside. From here, we want to find the hand that we want the weapon to be in. I'll use the right hand. So search for right. And if I see hand, we can zoom in a little bit. And obviously, I don't want it here. So we can right click and we're going to add a socket. Now, uh, name your socket something that you'll remember. Uh, I'll rename it right hand underscore item because I want my weapons or items to be here. Once I've done this, we can actually preview our weapon. So right click, add a preview asset and select your sword. Now, uh, we can actually preview the animation. So if you scroll down here on the preview animation, find your animation and then if you pause it, bring it all the way to the beginning, you'll be able to adjust your sword. So it's a little bit too big. So let me select it. And the relative scale I'll actually say is 0.2. And I'll paste this for all of them. Okay, so then I'm going to select my sword once again. And I'll just rotate it so it fits with my character. Okay, so once you've adjusted your sword um, to where you like it, we can save this. And if we play our animation, it should look um, good. So just to double check, if we go very slowly, our sword is fine. Yeah, that's good. And save and exit. Next, let's create an input action for us to be able to play this animation. So I'm going to input actions, right click a new input action, and I'll call this IA underscore attack. We don't have to do anything there, just control S to save, go to your IMC and I actually have a lot of stuff here. So let me just close this real quick and let's create a new mapping and this will be our IA underscore attack. And I'm going to say left mouse button, happy with this, then save and exit. Next, just to double check everything's working. Let's go to our player to BP underscore Brady and inside of our player blueprint, in the event graph, let's right click, search for our input action, attack, and I'm going to play my animation on started. So play montage and skeletal mesh uh, is our character. So drag that in there. And the montage we want to play is the M attack one montage. So if we compile and save. So if we test this, uh, our animation should play, but we won't have any weapon in hand. So let's go fix that. Let's go back to our weapons folder and inside of here, I'm going to right click blueprint class and I'm going to create a actor and this is going to be my sword. So go inside, create a skeletal mesh. And we can rename this to sword and for the skeletal mesh, just select your sword. That's fine. You don't need to do anything else. Compile and save. We can exit and then in our character blueprint. Inside of our player's event graph, you actually have two ways to go about this. So drag out from event begin play, and we are going to create a sequence node. So hold down S and press left mouse button. Zero will go to our old code, and one will go to our new code. So from here, we can get spawn actor from class. And of course, the class is going to be our sword. So search for that. And I spelled it wrong. There we are. Then for spawn transform, it's uh, going to be our mesh. And from our mesh, get uh, socket transform and connect it like so. 
Then for our name, make sure you spell it like you did before. So right and underscore item is what I had. And from return value, we want to attach actor from to component. Then name is the same, so we can actually just copy paste this. Like so and for all of these, just say snap to target. And one more thing, uh, for the parent, it's just going to be a mesh. So if you connect it, I'll bring this a little bit up so it looks cleaner. And if we compile and save, our sword should be in our hand and we should be able to hit. Now I'll show you a second way, which is a little bit easier. So go back to the event graph. We can actually delete all of this. We don't need that. And let's go to our viewport. Inside of our viewport, let's add a skeletal mesh and rename this sword. And you want to drag this into your mesh. And then from here, inside the parent socket, search for item or whatever you named uh, the socket. For me, it's right hand underscore item. And from here, just reset these values here. And your sword should appear in the right hand. And let's actually add it here, like so. So there we are, compile and save. And in the event graph, from the sequence, we can drag and say attach component to component mesh. Then from here, simply say the socket name. So it was right hand underscore item. And the same here, snap to target. And if we connect our mesh or no, break the mesh, connect this into parent and let's get our sword. So our skeletal mesh and connect it into target. So after doing so, say compile and save, and we should have the same result. So I hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial. If you did, leave a like. If you didn't, leave a dislike. And as always, happy developing.